Corky, it's uh, Monday after a, a, a defeat at Coventry when I think uh, people were expecting a win and uh, a decent performance. What, what was your sort of take on the game? Um, it's, a, it's always tough to go to a place you know, fight, you know, fighting for their lives. Um, you know, obviously, we come out and lost that game, but we've done well. It was a, it was a tough one, really, because it was just like unfortunate of injuries and stuff. Sort of the game went against us a bit, didn't it? In respects of that, um, this is one of them games you get on with, dust yourself down, and you're on to the next game. Mm. Disappointing, I guess, because there were over 4,000 Rovers fans there. Yeah, yeah, well, it's, always, it's always disappointing to lose. Like Obviously, like all the fans come down, it's more like a home game, in all fairness. With, the noise and that, which obviously we and the boys appreciate, but you know it's just a shame we couldn't uh, get the three points from. Just walked on the pitch beforehand. It was it wasn't the best of surfaces, was it? it yeah, it seemed like it anyway. Yeah, no, it looked to be fair from the pictures. It looked like it looked lovely, but getting on it obviously it's a lot different. The ball bounces different, and but like it's 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 a leveler, and both teams have got to play, in it, haven't they? Really, and it's whoever can play the sort of conditions better, I guess, and. Obviously, coming down to the uh, looking at the game, the end result. Obviously, they played it better than we did. The manager said after the game that the, the dressing was very quiet and it felt that you'd let yourselves down, let the fans down. I mean, would you go along with it? Yeah, a hundred percent. You know, you know they um, work a week, they pay the money to come watch us play, and obviously they come all that way, such big numbers, and then we lose. You know, it's it's, you know, it's massively disappointing. And obviously, for ourselves, we always go out there to win a game. Do you know what I mean? So, obviously. Well, we're going to be disappointed too. But there's always another game, and, and you can't dwell on any defeat. So you move on to, to Saturday's game. Nah, of course home not. Game. Nah. We, well, we put that behind us now. You know, it's gone. There's not a lot we can do about it. And we uh, have a week to work on the next project for Saturday, don't we? And your home form has been outstanding, hasn't it? Yeah, I think I think it. Touch wood. I think it always will be because you know the uh, support we get at home, and it's like a fortress for it, isn't it? So, what is it though? What's the contrast between home and away form? It's, it's quite stark this season, I think. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's, well, obviously, you're going to play a lot more games there, so you're a lot used to the mm. environment, the pitch, you know the pitch, the way it's going to play, and that. So, all sort of different aspects of it. But, you know, like obviously, 11,000 fans and whatnot. I said so, you know, it's a massive yeah. help in that. You don't realise how much it does. If you go to, like, Coventry was huge. And it's quite eerie at some points when you're playing away from our fans. Like, obviously, first half, I was down the far end. And it's quite eerie because there's, like, no one yeah, around you. Do. And then you get to that end and it's obviously round full of our fans. So, you know, I don't think it plays, it never plays a part. But, obviously, at home, it's massive. Just looking at the team selections, it's, it's very... Tough at the back, isn't it? Competition for places all on that line, and you must have felt that as much as anyone. Yeah, yeah, I've sort of had a in and out sort of season. Obviously, I've had an injury or two, but like it's competition for places. You you got to make sure when you're not playing, you keep yourself fit. So when you come in, you give a good account of yourself. Because if you come in, you don't do great. You'll be straight back out. So it's good to have really because it keeps everyone on their toes and everyone trying to play at their best. And there's no room for slacking off, as the gaffer wants here. And, and some of the new lads have had to be very patient, haven't they? Uh, yeah. Think, think of the Johnny Bruner. Yeah, exactly yeah, he has to be fair. And he's coming, you know, he's done mm. well, to be fair. So it's it's the same for everyone. Like, you've got to be patient. Like, like it happened a lot last year for me, with me and Leds, really. And like this, obviously, Joe's come in as well, so it's been the three of us sort of thing. But, you know, we can all sort of play a different position as well, which helps, like... So that's... You know, the gaffer wants that, really sort of like you can fit in, fill in another place if there is an injury or whatnot. So it's good to have. It's important you can play elsewhere as well because he, he changes formations two or three times during a game sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, <laughs> it happened Saturday, didn't it? So, like, our midfielders can do it, our forwards can do it, defenders can do it. I and mean, if you can do that, change formation with the same players that are on the pitch, you know, it's, it's, that's a great help, isn't it? If you, at the start of the season, I'm, I'm sure... Most people would have been happy with the league position as it is at the moment. I mean, do you feel that as a team, or do you feel you could be higher up the league? Um, we could, we could, we could, and probably should be higher. Really, like based on some of the games where we maybe let ourselves down towards the end, like when we conceded like a late goal. But 
like you say at the start of the season, you'll be like, yeah, I'd like, yeah, I'd love to see Bristol sort of where they are now. But then, you know, it's, as the season's pitted out, really so far played out, you would want to be higher, want to be uh, doing better than we are. First time we spoke to you since Barry, yeah, and, or Barry, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but that was a sort of a nightmare for you, wasn't it? Up there? Yeah, strange one, really. Um, <coughs> nothing I've come across before myself or anyone in the game, I'm sure. Um, yeah, no, it was quite a shock, actually, really. I, I thought something was up, really, halfway through the first half, and then, obviously, five minutes ago, I thought I'd better come off here because I'm struggling a bit. But, no, it was good to have the uh, Barry uh, medical staff and, obviously, ours and the paramedics and that not that um, sorted me out really quickly now, so I thank them. And, obviously, the fans, obviously, the... Um, uh, wish me all the best and that and I need to thank them as well so that was good of them must have been quite a frightening experience yeah it's one I well I don't wish anyone to go through but um, like I say I'm just glad uh, the people were there at that time to sort me out and a night in hospital in Bury <laughs> and then come back the next day weren't next nice day, yeah. yeah but <laughs> um, yeah no but obviously mm. like that game as well like sort of End up losing off the back of it, like unfortunately. Obviously, I've come off with that, and sure he's been sent off. It's not really done us favour, sort of thing, has it? With the uh, refs, maybe, and that have gone against us and that. But you know, like, like I say, it's just other games that have sort of gone against us, really. Six games to go. Are there any targets set by the team? Well, we never look at the whole six games. We look at Saturday, so we go to win Saturday. And then whatever happens Saturday, we put that to bed and then we look to win the next game. So that's how we play it. We just go game by game. And Saturday, obviously the crowd will be looking for you to bounce back and, and you as a group will want to be doing the same. Yeah, of course. We're all looking for the gaffer, especially we're looking for a reaction out of us. And uh, all of us ourselves as well, because we're all disappointed with what happened Saturday. So, you know, obviously we're going to work on it this week and go into the game of our project and uh, hopefully go on from there.